uh, those numbers, I had left them for students to work through. Um, no. Okay, 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 okay. Now, for the students, for the students following, we had looked at how we can find the constant. Let us try to recall a few things. One, we looked at if we are given a PDF um, of a known function. For example, I may look at that number two there. We have uh, our PDF, and they want us to find the constant. Uh, they want us to find the constant. We can use that to remind ourselves. That to find the constant, we integrate uh, the general expression is all x, f of x, dx uh, should be equated to 1. The integral of the given PDF from the lower limit given, in this case, the lower limit given is negative 1, and the upper limit is 4. The function given is lambda uh, is x squared over lambda. That is the function, and we are integrating with respect to x. And we are saying if we are interested in finding the constant, we must uh, equate our expression to 1. As you are aware that when we are integrating, we increase the power by 1 and we divide by the new power. We shall say this is the same as 1 out of lambda. Lambda being constant, we can pull it out. Negative 1 to 4 of x squared dx. Now, if we integrate that and equate it to 1, remember, we shall get the integral of this would be x cubed out of um, 4 out of 3 um, into the limits. Into the limits, negative 1 to 4 should be equal to 1, but we should not remember, we should not forget that constant here. So the rest will be substitution. And when we substitute in, we shall have our 1 out of lambda. It is a common constant. Our 4 will be substituted where we have x. So we shall have 4 cubed out of 3 minus. We substitute in negative 1. Negative 1 cubed out of 3 again. And equate this to 1. Uh, now the rest is supposed to be computation. 4 to the 3, it is only 4. It is only 4 that, um, that is, yeah, the, the x is 4. It is only 4 that is exposed to that power. So we shall have our 81, uh, 4 times 4. 4 times 4 times 4 is supposed to be 64. We shall have our 64 minus a negative times a negative times a negative. Three times will give us a negative. So minus, again, a negative one over three into one out of lambda uh, is equal to one. Now, when we compute this, um, we should be able to get up here, this will become a positive. And since we have a common denominator, we shall have 65 over lambda, uh, over 3 lambda being equal to 1. Implying that if we make lambda the subject, we shall get our lambda as 3 out of 65. Now, after getting the lambda, it is always important that you state the function as you conclude. So our function would be restated as uh, 3 out of 65 x squared, uh, negative 1 less or equal to x less or equal to 4, 0 elsewhere. 
So basically, this is testing integration skills and knowing that you must be in the know of the condition. That and other numbers were left as an exercise. I am singling only that part out and uh, I will now uh, request us to look at the next number. That number you see as number three there is going to be our lead number. It has several, several parts that we are going to, to look at. But before we look at, at that number three fully, um, I will say, apart from integrating the given function from all limits given and equating it to one, if we want to get the constant, Um, there are other important expressions we need to know. For example, before today's lesson ends, we shall look at how to get the expectation of x. This is also abbreviated as mu and can be looked at as the mean. To get the expectation of a variable x, we shall integrate all x x, f of x, dx. That is another important formula we need to know or we will have to use today. The other important expression we shall find here is variance. Variance will be obtained by looking at the integral of x squared f of x dx or x minus the expectation or the mean of x squared. And uh, we will also be interested in looking at how to sketch, how to sketch the PDF function uh, time allowing. We already know how to get the constant. That's why I have reminded you by working through this one. So I want us to move to the next number. And we shall selectively pick a few parts of that number. And then move on to expectation, which is uh, intended for, for today. Take note of these expressions. I will keep them here for uh, a, a while. And... Uh, look as we look at our next number. Our next number, our f of x is given as cx, um, c over 2 into 3 minus x, and uh, we have ranges. Now, this is unique in a way that we have two parts of this function. The range, or for the first case, is 0 to 1, and the next case is 1 to 3. They are telling us to find the constant. They are telling us to find the constant, so we begin by looking for the constant. Remember, we integrate the given function and equate it to 1. So what are we going to do? This time we shall add. We shall add, and we shall say that the integral are from 0 to 1 of cx, the x will be added to the integral from 1 to 3 of c out of 2, 3 minus x, the x, and all this will be equated to 1. All this will be equated to 1. C is the constant we are looking for. For the first case, if I pull out the C and integrate straight away, my x will be integrated become x squared over 2. So I'll have x squared over 2 and subject it to the given limits. Uh, I will add on um, my C over 2 is a constant here. And when I integrate what I have here, uh, the 3 will become 3x, and the x will become x squared over 2. And my limits are 1 and 3. I will equate this to 1. I will equate that to 1. Whatever is left is substitution. And this is a very serious step where you are substituting. You need to be very conscious. That our C, uh, I'm going to make it common. 
to make it a common term, this and this, and pull it out at the same time, I will have one entered here giving me one squared over two minus. When I enter in the zero, it will stay as zero. That is the first part. Since I chose to pull out this C, I'll enter this two in there as I substitute in for the X. So I'll have three out of two times the X, which is three, a minus, I substitute this there again, minus, it will be now three squared out of four. Remember this two is entering in there. Um, this term, um, we take off, we take off the same term when we substitute in one. We take off again with this C already out there, catered four. So I'll enter my two. I'm taking off three over two because the one will, uh, will, be, will keep three or three. Then I will take off. When I put in one here, I'll take off my one. It is squared over four. Yeah, if you do the mathematics, and this is equal to 1, don't forget. If you do the mathematics, we have C into a half. Um, here we have 9 out of 2 uh, plus 9 out of 2 minus 9 out of 4. This must be taken away um, from the other one. This is 3 out of 2 minus 1 out of 4 is equal to 1. So if you do the mathematics of fractions, the LCM here is 4. That means if we multiply by 2 here up and down, we shall have 18 minus 9, which will leave us with 9 out of 4 here. In other words, this is a half of that. So when we subtract, we get 9 out of 4. Our C, if we sum up what we are going to get here, when you simplify all this, you should be able to get the value of C. Um, you can compute. You should be able to get the value of C as as 2 out of 3. If you compute all that, you do the mathematics, you should be able to get your value of C as, as two-thirds. Um, a moment for all of you to copy that. And I said, whenever you get the value of C, it is important for you to conclude and rewrite the function. And say, hence, that f of x is actually equal to our two-thirds, two-thirds of x, uh, 0 to x uh, to 1. And our, that was uh, our 2 out of 6. It comes 2 out of 6, so 1 third of 3 minus x. And we put our range of 1 to 3, and then 0 elsewhere. We must conclude by restating the expression to fit in the C where it was expected. But I want to emphasize that if you don't handle the substitution and the computation there very well, then problems can come. Um, if you get the value of C wrong, for such a number, all the other values you will get will definitely be wrong. Now, like I said, we shall exclusively pick what to do. I will start with the second part. If they tell us to find the probability that x is less than 0 0.6. They are telling us to find the probability that x is less than 0 0.6. What do they mean? Less, less means that you are going to integrate from 0, 0.6, uh, from 0 to 0 0.6. Of the first function, 2 out of 3x, plus the integral from, again, 0 to now, for the second, function, the second function there is starting from 1 to 3. So if they say zero, x less than 0 
Since the second case has a range that is above 0 0.6, it means you're only going to use the first uh, function to look for that probability. You're only going to use the first function to look for that probability, and that calls for just the integral of that, which will definitely uh, give us um, 2 out of 3 times. This x will be squared when we integrate, and we shall divide by that, and we shall put in our limits. And when we put in our limits, of course, this cancels, simplify it. We can have our 6 out of 10. It is squared and divide it by 3. And uh, we are taking away our 0 squared over 3. So it means that the probability is going to give you 36 out of 100 divided by 3, which is times 1 out of 3. And this will give you 12 out of 100, which should give you by 4, 3 out of 25. So the probability that x is less than 0 0.6 is the same as 3 out of 25. It is the same as 3 out of 25. Mathematics requires a student with a cool head. A cool head, you must not be in a rush but at the same time, you must be fast enough. You must be fast enough if you must finish. Uh, I said I will interpret a few. Now, we have looked at the case of less than 0 0.6. Let us look at that second case of 1.5. P into 1.5, less than X, less uh, than 2. If we look at our range, once again, um, the 1.5 does not include our first function of Cx. Cx has a range that starts from 0 and goes up to 1. So it means that the 1.5 to 2 is going to include only the second function, which is uh, our C over 2 into 3 minus x. So we shall integrate from... 1.5 to 2 to 2, the probability will be from 1.5 to 2 uh, of, of, now we got this as 2 out of 3, into 3 minus x, the x. It is from 1.5 to 2. Because the range is stopping at 2, we cannot go up to the upper limit of 3. So we shall integrate that from 1.5 to 2. And uh, of course, since this is a third, I can simplify this to a third. I think that is what we got our, as our, yes, as our x, uh, our constant. So when we integrate this, we shall get um, this giving us 3x, that is a third, into 3x minus x squared over 2, and our limits are 3 over 2. I can write that as 3 over 2 to 2. If we substitute in what we get, we shall keep a third out and have our 6. 3 times uh, 2 is 6 minus, minus 2. x squared is 4. 4 divided by 2 is uh, 2. Minus, we put in this one. We'll get 9 over 2. Minus, when we put it here, we shall have 9 over 4, uh, which will give us 9 over 8. And uh, since this is a common value, when we subtract here, we have a third into 4 minus. If I multiply by 4 here, up and down, I have 36 minus 9, which will give me 27 out of 8. So if I take off 27 out of 8, I'll have uh, 32 here minus 25. And this will give me a third times. 32 minus 25 is 5 uh, out of 8. So I'll get my probability here as 5 out of 24. The probability that x is greater than 1.5 but less than 2 will give us 5 
out of 24. Um, we are going to uh, go to the last number there, the last part, part 6. Part 6 is supposed to remind us of conditional probability. They are saying we should find the probability of x less than 2 given. That underline means that we are given that x is greater than 0 0.8. This reminds you of the condition that p of a over b, uh, the part that we have not discussed here on BBC, uh, BBS, but I am aware that you have discussed that uh, in your different classes back at school, is supposed to be looked at as the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. So we will break it into two parts. We look at it as P um, of X less than 2 intersection X greater than 0 0.8 over the probability of x greater than 0 0.8. Uh, we look at that that way. Look at that interpretation, and uh, we shall, after looking at it that way, be able to get the first term, and then um, we'll proceed to get the next term. Remember, we said that the inequality signs do not matter under this topic. What matters is the way you do the integration and the substitution. So if we have that expression, it means we are going to integrate the first case. Uh, we are going to integrate to get the first case and then we'll get the denominator. We'll need to get this alone and we we'll also need to get this and that. Now, if x is less than 2, and also greater than 0 0.8, it means the lower limit will be 0 0.8 and the upper limit will be, will be 1 for the first case. The first case will have 0 to 1, the next case will have 2 to 3. Those limits, look at them carefully. So we shall use, for the first case, we shall look at from 0 0.8 to 1, That is the first case, that P x uh, less than 2 intersection x greater than 0 0.8 will be looked at as the integral of 0 0.8 to 1 of Cx dx plus the integral. For the second case, the limit was starting from um, 0 point, from 1 to 3. Um, so it is already catered for here. For the second case, we are integrating our C out of um, 3 into 3 minus x from uh, 1 uh, to 2, from 1 to 2 of dx. Since we already know our C as 2 out of 3, uh, it is our liberty to choose we can choose to work with this and feed in the C at the end. That is still acceptable. We can feed it in at the start and proceed. Now, once we get the answer, we shall have got the upper part here. We shall have got the upper part. And we shall separately do this other part as well. And then eventually um, merge the two in the formula I showed you here. Express them and get the final answer. So if we work out this... Um, we shall have our, our Cx squared over 2, uh, 0 0.8, 1, plus, this is C over 3 into 3x minus x squared over 2, um, 1 to 2. Uh, I'm going to substitute in and ask you to do the computation. If I substitute in, I will have my C over 2 into 1 squared minus, minus 0 0.8 squared. That's the first term because I brought out C over 2. 
uh, plus our c over 3 into I'll have 6 3 times 2 minus this is 4 over 2 which we saw as 4 actually we have I think this expression here but the limits are changing uh, minus we put in 1 we shall have our 3 minus 1 over 2 now when we compute this um, when you substitute in and compute uh, this will give us c over 2 let me show you what we shall get uh, this will be 1 minus 0 0.8 um, 1 minus 0 0.8 squared will be 1 minus 0 0.64 that's the first part plus if I maintain this as c over 3 uh, this will give us 4 minus 3 minus a half is 2 and a half 2 and a half is the same as 5 over 2 or 6 minus 1 which is 5 over 2 and minus so we are taking away 5 over 2 here and uh, I think this makes it much easier 1 minus 0.64 is the same as 0.36 um, so if I substitute in here I have 2 over 6 my c is 2 over 3 so we can substitute in here 2 over 3 times divide by 2 becomes 2 over 6 times our 0 0.36 say our 6 our 36 out of 100 plus a third times 2 over 3 into 8 minus that that would be 3 over 2 8 minus 5 over 2 so when you compute this ladies and gentlemen it should be able to give you uh, a final answer that we can now write directly remember this is 6 so the final answer you get uh, when you substitute in fully should give you I think 31 out of 50 or 0 0.62 31 out of 50 when you do the computation uh, or the mathematics uh, if you want to quickly look at this this is a 6 and this is 50 uh, so we have we have 6 over 50 there we have 6 over 50 there plus if we look at this since we are multiplying this 3 will go and this 2 will go and we have a third we have a third if we take the LCM as 150, we shall have 2, we shall have 12, 150 will give us 50, we shall have 62, um, 50 times 50, we shall have 50, and therefore shall have 62 out of our 150, is it 150, 100, okay. And if you reduce this, what does it give you? The LCM here, we reduced it to get um, 6, 6, 50, 6 out of 50. And uh, it should be able to give us this as the final answer. Yes, you should be able to get 31 out of 50 if you compute. Uh, we keep that answer there. That answer represents this. So we go to look for this. And since 0 0.8 only falls in the category of the first one, we proceed and look for the integral p greater than 0 0.8. We will start greater. This is greater than 0 0.8. So we shall start from 0 0.8 to 1 and proceed to the next because it is greater 0 0.81 of cx dx plus integral of the next limit is 1 to 3 for the other one uh, of c out of 3 into 3 minus x dx now when we integrate this what we get we are integrating the same thing so since we already know the integral will bring us here I'll pick it up from here straight away and I'll say 
that this will give us cx squared over 2, 0 0.8 to 1 plus. This will give us that c over 3 into uh, 3x minus x squared over 2. The ranges are now 1 to 3. So we substitute in our limits and look for the expression. This is going to be c over 2 into 1 squared minus 0 0.8 squared um, plus c over 3 into um, now this is 9 minus 9 over 2 minus 3 minus 1 over 2. We already know our c. We already got this. So this time we have c over 2 times our 0 0.36 0 0.36 yes um, plus plus our c over 3 into this is going to give us again uh, 18 that is 9 over 2 minus 5 over 2 9 minus 5 is 4, 4 over 2 is 2. So this gives us our uh, 2 over th uh, 3, which is a C, times 1 over 2, which is this, times 36 over 100, plus 2 over 6, times 4. When you compute this, again, it should be able to give us something simpler here. 2 goes... 3 goes 12 times. I can keep that for a moment. And I say this will give me 12 out of 100. Plus, uh, if we look at this, we can simplify this with this to get a third times 4. So this is 4 over 3. If we take the LCM as 100, which are as a 300, the LCM here should be 300 here. Oh, yeah, if we take 300, we shall get 12 plus. It goes 100 times times 4 will be 400. And um, this will give me 412. It should be able to give me a value that is much smaller than that. Um it should be able to give me a value that is much smaller. That is a 9 out of 25. If we simplify uh, this here, we should be able to get 2 out of 3 times. Times a half. Times that. This 2 out of 3 times a half times 36 should be able to give you 9 out of 25. if you compute. So this probability that x is greater than 0 0.8 in a nutshell will give you a rounded off value of uh, 9 out of 25 plus 2. And when you compute this, it will give you 59 out of 25. Is it 59 out of 25? out of 75, sorry, 59 out of 75 when you compute. Remember, probability should not be less than 1. Now, after getting those two values, um, the first value was the numerator, what we can call the intersection, and then the value I've just got is now the 59 out of 75, the value we got before, which should be the numerator here, was uh, 31 out of 50. 31 out of 50. So it implies that the probability that is required, the probability that x uh, is less than 2 intersection, the other one should be able to give us 30 out of 50 
times 75 out of 59. And when we compute this by 510, by 515, uh, by 10, 1, 3, we shall get 45 out of 59 as the probability, the conditional probability under PDF. It should be able to give us the answer as, yeah, this was, this was 31, sorry, not 30. So when you compute, it doesn't cancel. 31 out of 50. Ah, uh, yes, by 5, we shall take this as um, 10 by 5, 15. So we shall stay with that as 31 times 15 out of 590 should be the probability for that conditional part. That conditional part is uh, very, very important. This is an, ex, uh, an extensive number that uh, was intended to expose the candidates or the people following to a number of issues here. I want us to move to what I said we should be able to talk about, expectation, which we called E into the variable. And we... Can we move to another slide? My dear producer, you can take us to the next slide so that we can look at expectation. Yes, expectation. I already summarized most of these formulae you see there. We have one which we have done, we have two which we are supposed to look at, and we have three. Now, starting with that very example you see, we are given an integral, we are given a function as three over four, into two my, uh, 3 over 4. There is an x here. Uh, that is an x. It is not a multiplication. Uh, into 2 minus x. The x. And uh, they are asking us to find the expe expectation. Can we go down to see the question they are asking? Go to another slide, another page. The function we have picked it, 0 to 2. I want us to find the questions being asked. Yeah, one of the questions they are asking is find the mean and variance. Uh, mean and variance. So if you are integrating from 0 to 2 and they want to find the mean, we said that the mean, which is expectation of x, is going to be equal to, is going to, be equal to the integral, the integral of x times f of x the x, that is the mean uh, for all x. So we shall integrate from 0 to 2 for our e of x. 0 to 2 of our now, uh, we can say this is going to be 3 uh, x out of 2 minus 3 x squared out of 4. If we open brackets, we shall get the 2 reducing this 4 to 2. And here it will stay as 3x squared. If we integrate this, we shall have 3 out of 2 times x squared out of 4. X squared, x squared out of 2, sorry. Um, minus. We increase the power here by 1 and divide by the new power, which is that. This 3 out of 2 is there. Minus 3 out of 4 times... When we integrate this, we shall get x cubed divided by 3. And we shall put in our limits as 0 to 2. What we shall get will be our expectation. What we shall get will be our expectation. I said these numbers require you to be extra careful as especially you substitute it. This is 3 out of 4. Um, 3 out of 4 are uh, put in our limit, the upper limit. That will be times uh, 2 squared minus, again, um, 3 out of 4 here uh, into our upper limit. We can say this is 3 out of 12. 
and our upper limit um, is still 2 2 cubed we shall take away um, when we put in the lower limit this will collapse to 0 since all terms have x and this is 0 it will collapse to that so our expectation if we sim simplify this will give us a 3 this will be 4 which will cancel with that minus the quarter times 8 and this will give us a 12 minus 8 out of 4 and this will give us 4 out of 4 and this will give us 1 therefore our expectation of x is 1 our expectation of x is 1 The reason why I want to emphasize that candidates should be able to do a lot of practice in order to actually be able to be consistent and effective with the answers they get. Now, we are also asked to find the variance. And we have argued that variance will be given by um, the EX squared minus the square of the mean. So we are going to repeat this, but where we put x, we use x squared. And then for this part, we shall not bother. We already have it. We shall simply take it off from the other one. So our variance uh, of x will be equal to the integral of now x squared f of x dx from 0 to 2 minus uh, our, I can even say our 1 squared. So if we use x there, we shall get our integral of x squared into our expression. That is um, from there, that is 3 uh, x over 2 minus 3 x squared over 4 dx. We shall take away this one later. Let us first integrate that from 0 to 2. When we enter in this x squared, we shall get 3x cubed uh, over 2. So when we integrate that, we shall have 3 over 2. But the x, remember, is cubed. So it will be x to the 4 over 4. Multiplied. Minus, when we enter this x there, we shall have x to the 4. So we shall have 3 over 4 times x to the 4 integrated will give us x to the 5 over 5. You must have the command of the integral rule or the integration rule um, on your fingertips. Now, I have, of course, jumped a step here that I should have put this in, then I go ahead to integrate. I combine that. x cubed will give us that. So I'm going to substitute in, and well aware that this is still 0. We are only interested in the first substitution. And we shall get our 3 over 8, the 4 times 2 is 8, 3 over 8 into our 2 squared, 2 to the power 4, which will give us 16, minus 3 over 20, 4 times 5, into our 2 to the 5, which should give us 32. Um, if I want to maintain a common LCM, or at this stage if you want to, to reduce, uh, 8 goes here 2 times, so you have 6, and we can reduce this by 4. 5 by 4, 8, we take out 24 over 5. And when we do the subtraction, um, uh, completing fractions, we have 30 minus 24. If I take the common LCM, I can put here by 5 times 5. This is 30 minus 24, which will give us 6 out of 5, so that gives us 1.2. So I can conclude and say that my variance of x is going to be equal to 6 out of 5 minus our expectation squared. 6 out of 5 is 1.2. So this will give us 1.2 minus 1, and we shall get our variance to the x as 0 0.2. Our variance will be 0 0.2. 
uh, my dear candidates and all my students all over the country that are following this program, I want to ask you to copy uh, the next one number that you can see. The next one number, copy it down very fast. And uh, uh, we have not been able to look at how we sketch. I don't want to rush you into the next part, but I am sure today you have learned how to get the expectation. Capture all those numbers there. We will be able to view them. Number two, they should have captured it. You can even go down so that they capture the next part. When we meet next, uh, we shall begin by working through one of those numbers, preferably that number two, and uh, interestingly look at that last part where we are saying variance of negative three x plus four. What is the implication of the four there? Um, when we are doing sketching, which we shall also look at next, yes, when you are doing sketching, we shall note two important things. That when you are sketching a function, we will be able to discover whether it is a line or a curve. If it is a line, we shall use the two limits, the lower limit and the upper limit, to obtain the other points. Put in x as 2, get the fx. Put in x as 0, get the fx. And repeat that if there are more than one function. And then you plot them. Uh, when we do curve, uh, curve sketching there, we shall actually discover that we can also get the mod. We can get the mod, and the mod will always be given at the point where the fx has the highest value. I want to thank you for following these lessons. I want to thank the management of BBS TV. I want to thank the cameraman and the producer and all of you. Keep following, keep practicing. Use the textbook that is called uh, A Concise Approach to A-Level Statistics by uh, Jake Rosho. It will give you more numbers. God bless you. Have a nice day. All right. We are going to be here again. We are going to be here again. We are going to be here again. Uh, Sumira mudiro liyo. Juki la tuwata nsesa wa satu wali na waiza wecho musamvu. Edane eh, unako uluencha utujokuta nikira primary. Sawa satu wezo kumacha. Uh, te sawa nya. Awe la senior four. Uh, te sawa muenda. Awe uh, la senior six. Bana fava Maryland High School. Wali entebe. Uh, Green Hill Schools. Uh, Kuotekana musumero aga gombe education services. Eh, Wetu tambula musumera mudiro liyo. Uh, Tewera vila big pen. Okoze sa pen ya big. Buli wovera. Uh, Ulimu office. Ulidu dawa. Gula big pen yobo koze saa yetage na kufange kuiwa. Uh, kids Kingdom Schools, Dekea, uh, Nechinda Garten, wali ena garabi wudo, uh, tena wali ena mgongo, na wale tutambula na wale musumira mudiro liyo, uh, musumira maru unjo kumo mwana wo, uwe miaka jona. Uh, te nebanafe, uh, te koteka, uh, nebanafe haba mkumba university, esangi wali entebe, uh, ku, inkumba kurugudo olu entebe, bweti otutambula, buli lunaku, Wana sumera mudiro liyo. Tujia kuma uru na tolu na kuruencha. Sawa satu uh, na haba primary. Uh, te sawa nya. Uh, sini ya fonga wa mkutegezeza ni sawa muenda. Uh, sini ya sikse. Katugene mprogramu roundabout mkasera kano. Ate tuwe yongere yone programu za fendala. Nyinga tewe da vila. Tisawa bili ya zechilo. Tusuvilo kuogera kwa mkulembeze wa guanga. Kango na kuruencha tumalako. Uh, te na kwa vili moru mwezo umu galo. Na kuruwa lero. Tumusuvila agenda kujate alangirile evipia. Ebi gendo kubanga bigo vedelua uruvanyi maru na kuwabili morumu Okubanga tuzikubie urukumu tuwe na te unako uruencha Kale katumulindi ile kusawa bili ze njini eze chilo Ansigade ni muzukuru wa mgema katumba jiruadi Sawa saja kabaka awangale Somera mudiro lio Ngewa Gidua, Maryland High School, Elisangi Wentebe, Sumeru Yabawala na Abalenzi, Duso Mesa Arts and Sciences, Okuvile Dela Kusini Yesoka, Okutuki Dela Kusini Yomukaga, Ngali Sangi Wa Mchifechi Wewe Pogurunji, Tuline Bisule Yomulembe, Science Laboratory, Sakoni Computer Lab, Uwamune. She gives you her number, but your pen didn't work, and the bus is gone. Get a pen you can rely on. Big Crystal, the long-lasting pen with perfect ink flow. Wamune. Green Hill Academy has high standards of learning and the teachers are very good. They give you a sense of belonging. Green Hill has helped me to discover my talent. The environment is good. Encourage us children to be excellent.
wamune Kids Kingdom Kindergarten and Daycare Sobelo liyabana bato Omuza dereto omwano ugendo kore bibyo Ebyo kuzenyisa biyabana vyo namu usi Tumirina Atenga abana webasa nyila wagazinyo Jukira security enka Ama somelo gunagali mchukomera Aba somesa vetulina Bakugumu bana Abana tuwalisa bulu nji nyomu nange Tuina main campus ebu dona galabi Nga wakaisa abu do junior Maryland High School eri sangiwe ntebe somero lya bawala na balenzi tusomesa arts and sciences okuvira dela kusinye soka okutukira dela kusinye yomukaga ngali sangiba mu kifechi wewe po bulunje tuline bisule byomulembe science laboratory sakoni computer lab abasomesa bafa abatendeke moko somesa no kubangula abayizi kunonga tuongira kuno kulembeze ebitone kati nnugo muzadde omwana omulete mu kifechi muchoka ekigendo kumuyambo kongero kunyikize bibya soma irange somero lili mulyoka ye Maryland High School eri sangiwe ntebe no